More authors are announcing they're dropping out of a Knox County Library Teen Literacy Festival. Organizers reneged on their invitation to one author because some of her books for adults contain erotic material. WBIR tennis reporter Jim Athene spoke to one of the other authors in Knoxville, and tonight she explains why she withdrew from the festival. So I was looking forward to it. You know, I like working with teenagers. Marilyn Callan serves as Knoxville's poet laureate and emphasizes literature that speaks truth. That's why she says she dropped out of an upcoming literature festival for teens called Knox Lit Up. It was about writing yourself honestly in poetry. It would have been uh, very hypocritical to try to do something like that in the face of this recent activity of them withdrawing uh, Julia from the mix. Julia is Julia Watts, a local author who was invited to the festival by the Knox County Public Library, then uninvited because they found some of her books written for adults include erotic material. Do your homework. I mean, did you not know what it was before you asked her? You don't ask and then uninvite. So clearly they blew it. Watts wrote a book for young adults called Quiver. There were no objections to that book. Instead, for other books, Watts wrote with mild erotic LGBT content. They say that there was no homophobia involved, and perhaps that's true. But the person at the other end of it perceived it as homophobia, and so other people will too. Callett says uninviting Watts was rude and shows a lack of trust in Watts to tailor her content for a younger audience. So far, Callett and two other authors have dropped out of the festival. I mean, just sheer politeness. You don't invite somebody and uninvite them. What would our mothers have said about doing that? Callett says the reaction by the library now takes what would have been no big deal and potentially made it an embarrassing national story. Well, the uh, Washington Post contacted me last night. It has come to the attention of national press. Now Callett hopes the entire episode is a learning experience. We want to be teaching teens something. Why look at what we're teaching them here. We're teaching them that we're afraid of language. We're teaching them that we're afraid of books, that we're afraid of writers. That's not the lesson we want to be giving them. In West Knoxville, Jim Athene, WBIR 10 News. The Knox County Public Library says it apologized to Julia Watts and last week she told 10 News she accepted that apology.